do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter excretion and osmoregulation now in that we are studying topic ammonotelism during metabolic process of protein breakdown many harmful products are released and those are not only harmful but they never have any use to our body now one of the way through which waste product is removed is ammonotelism let's study about it so protein catabolism or protein breakdown release of certain substances and these substances could be ammonia urea uric acid they are not only some products which are not never used by the body but if they stay inside your body they could be very lethal to your body or basically to your cells so ammonotelic products or ammonotelism is nothing but a process of removing the nitrogenous waste and the nitrogenous waste that is el eliminated through this process is ammonia or you simply say nh3 now the organism that release this product are termed as ammonotelic organism and they include basically bony fishes amphibians and crocodile for that matter now ammonotelism is basically very closely related to the availability of water or h2o in the surrounding periphery ammonotelism or you simply say removal of ammonia now in this process what happens is that the nitrogenous waste are eliminated from your body is in the form of ammonia or nh3 now such organisms which eliminate this ammonia product are termed as ammonotelic organism an example of this could be your bony fishes that have hard solid bones larvae of amphibians or salamander for it that example in this animals a large amount of water or ability of water for dissolving this ammonia and eliminating it from the body is required
Now, your ammonotelism is always associated with the availability of water molecule. That if ammonia is not dissolved in water, it cannot be removed out of the body of the organism. Now, 300 to 500 ml of water would be required to remove 1 gram of ammonia from the body. And that is a quite huge expenditure of water just to remove an excretory product. Ammonotelism is usually seen in freshwater animals. Now, many animals termed as telehost fishes are also ammonotelic. Students, in this part of the chapter, we did come across the process of ammonotelism, which are the organisms that do this process. And how does this process work? And if this excretory product is not removed or eliminated of, of your body, that could be harmful effects to your body or to the body of those marine animals. Basically, they are present as ammonia form in marine animals. So those organisms could be at a great state. Even your excretory product if it stays inside your body would cause a lot of harm to your cells. So I hope students, we are very clear with this concept of ammonotelism. Thank you.